Imagine wanting to start a family, but facing the challenge of infertility. What can you do to overcome this hurdle? Infertility can feel like a towering wall, casting a shadow on the dreams of parenthood. It is a common issue affecting millions worldwide. But remember you are not alone, and more importantly, you are not without options. One potential solution is in vitro fertilization, or IVF. This medical procedure has been a beacon of hope for many, helping to navigate the stormy seas of infertility. It involves fertilizing an egg with sperm outside the body, and then implanting the fertilized embryo into the uterus. It can be a viable option for individuals struggling with various fertility challenges or couples who have been unsuccessful in conceiving naturally. However, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution, and it may not be suitable for everyone. Understanding the process of IVF can demystify the procedure and help individuals and couples make informed decisions. So, how does IVF work? Let's break it down into six main steps. The first step is ovulation induction. This is where fertility medications are given to stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple eggs. These medications also help control the timing of egg release, ensuring that the eggs are mature and ready for fertilization. It's like giving a gentle nudge to the ovaries saying, hey, it's time to get to work. Next comes egg retrieval. Once the eggs are mature, a minor surgical procedure is performed to collect them from the ovaries. This procedure is known as follicular aspiration or egg retrieval. It's like a carefully orchestrated treasure hunt where the precious eggs are the coveted treasure. The third step is fertilization. The retrieved eggs are then combined with sperm in a laboratory dish. This can be done through traditional insemination methods or through a process called intracytoplasmic sperm injection, where a single sperm is directly injected into an egg. Imagine this as a meet and greet between the egg and the sperm, where they are introduced in a controlled environment and encouraged to form a connection. Once fertilization occurs, the fertilized eggs, now embryos, are cultured for a few days in the laboratory. This stage, known as embryo culture, allows the embryos to develop. It's like a nurturing kindergarten for the tiny embryos where they are closely monitored and cared for until they are ready to move on to the next stage. That next stage is embryo transfer. One or more healthy embryos are selected and transferred into the woman's uterus. This is a crucial step, as it's the moment when the potential future baby gets its first home. It's like moving day for the embryo, where it's carefully placed in its new abode. Any extra viable embryos can be frozen for future use. Finally, a pregnancy test is conducted to determine if implantation has occurred. This is the moment of truth, the culmination of the entire process. It's like waiting for the final score in a game, filled with anticipation and hope. IVF is a complex process, but each step is crucial to increasing the chances of a successful pregnancy. Each stage is meticulously planned and executed, all with the goal of helping individuals and couples achieve their dream of having a child. From the initial push to the ovaries, to the careful collection of eggs, to the precise combination of egg and sperm, and finally to the hopeful transfer of the embryo, every step of the IVF process is a testament to the incredible advances in reproductive medicine. And while it may seem overwhelming, Remember that each step is just a part of the journey towards the ultimate goal, a successful pregnancy. Scene script. IVF can address several specific causes of infertility. Let's delve into some of these. Firstly, there's tubal factor infertility, where the fallopian tubes are blocked or damaged, preventing the egg from reaching the uterus. IVF bypasses this issue entirely. The eggs are harvested directly from the ovaries, fertilized in a lab, and the resulting embryos are implanted into the uterus, sidestepping any tubal complications. Next, we have male factor infertility, which can be due to low sperm count or poor sperm quality. In these cases, a technique called intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or ICSI, can be employed. Here, a single sperm is injected directly into an egg, optimizing fertilization chances. Let's consider ovulatory disorders, where individuals have irregular ovulation or do not ovulate regularly. IVF can be a game changer here. Fertility drugs are used to stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple eggs, which are then retrieved and fertilized in the lab. Then there's endometriosis, a condition where tissue similar to the lining of the uterus grows outside the uterus, affecting fertility. IVF can offer a solution by taking the fertilization process out of the body, 
eliminating the barriers created by this condition. Lastly, we come to unexplained infertility. When the cause of infertility cannot be identified through standard testing, IVF can still be a viable option. The process maximizes the chances of conception by creating an optimal environment for fertilization and implantation. Each of these scenarios highlights the versatility and impact of IVF. It's a technology that has revolutionized reproductive medicine, providing a beacon of hope for many. It's important, however, to bear in mind that, like any medical procedure, IVF may not be the right fit for everyone, and its success rates can vary. IVF has opened doors for many who face specific infertility issues offering a chance at parenthood. Now that we've covered the process and impact of IVF, what are the key points to remember? Let's recap. IVF is a medical procedure that addresses infertility by fertilizing an egg with sperm outside the body, then implanting the fertilized embryo into the uterus. It involves six main steps, ovulation induction, egg retrieval, fertilization, embryo culture, embryo transfer, and a pregnancy test. This procedure can tackle various infertility issues like tubal factor infertility, male factor infertility, ovulatory disorders, endometriosis, and even unexplained infertility. Yet, it's important to note that IVF may not be the right solution for everyone. Success rates can vary based on factors like age, overall health, and the specific cause of infertility. IVF, a revolutionary procedure in reproductive medicine, provides hope and possibility for many struggling with infertility. But as with any medical procedure, it's vital to consult with healthcare professionals to understand if it's the right choice for you.